welcome once again to another episode of the Lights Everywhere podcast. Um, we've been having uh, a wonderful conversation with Fred, Fred Ezeji Okoye, um, and we've been talking about his life story, um, how God met him, how through you know his pursuits, you know God, God began to show him things in the world about himself, and how that has led to. Um, the organization that he founded and he leads right now that is called the Men of Faith Network. Now, last week we talked about what led to that organization, your your passion to minister to men and to ministers, yes. because you saw that they, you know, there was really nobody ministering to them. Now, tell us about the organization. Tell us about Men of Faith Network. Thank you very much. So, Men of Faith Network. When I had that bondage. I started praying, asking God, you know, what direction, how can I do this? Because I I can't really understand how I would do it. You know, who do I talk to? How can I bring ministers together? You know? So at that moment there was kind of a little bit challenges, you know, people saying their mind that I mean it's very difficult to gather men of God together, you know, there's no way you can gather ministers together. You know? So I kept believing that God is speaking to me because mm -hmm. sometimes uh, I wouldn't sleep over it. You mm -hmm. know, I, I I would be so restless, you know. And I summon courage, mm -hmm. and I spoke to about five to six pastors, and they said it's a good idea. You know, why not? Let's sit down, tell us what God is saying, and we we'll take it from there. Mm -hmm. And that was uh, five years ago, September mm -hmm. five years ago, mm -hmm. uh, to be precise, September seventh. Wow. Yeah. So and I called the six great men of God I, I go around me there. And I invited him, invited them to my house and my wife cooked, you know, kept everybody comfortable and I started pouring out the passion, you know, about how we need to gather together. So and I remembered one of the pastors now said, So why only men? I said, Well, um, the situation is still the same question I asked God, why only men? But something reflected in my spirit in the Bible that in the beginning, Abraham, the priest, men takes the family mm. to the church. Mm. But today, my own upbringing, mm. we see more of the moms mm -hmm. taking the family yeah. to the church. Mm -hmm. So God is trying to reset yeah. the order. Mm -hmm. Not that we have anything against women ministers. Women, mm -hmm. we we share to get like September twenty seventh. Mm -hmm. Our anniversary is coming up. Mm -hmm. That is the time for family. Yeah, where ministers will bring in their family. And so I've been at those anniversaries. So it's it's an amazing see, time. Uh, mm -hmm. So we don't mm -hmm. restrict anybody coming from the meeting. But mm -hmm. this is the direction the Lord is giving us. And they all accepted and said, "Okay, let's let's start. How do we do?" And I said, "To me, there is no protocol." Let us just call living all titles. Mm -hmm. I respect titles a lot. I mm -hmm. respect ministers, you know, I respect whatever anybody is operating from. Mm -hmm. But when we come, let's just drop these titles. Yeah. Let's let's just call us children of God. Let mm -hmm. us pour out our hearts. Let's worship God. Mm -hmm. Let's receive. You know, like many a times, like I always tell them, you know, you, you, you keep giving. Mm -hmm. You keep giving. Why not receive? Why not eat? You know, mm -hmm. and be encouraged, mm -hmm. you know. And they all accepted and we started, you know, uh, the next, we agreed every month. Mm -hmm. So the next month, about five people showed up, short of one, mm -hmm. I'm like, wow, I thought it would increase, <laughs> why five? But we started that way and before you know it, mm -hmm. people started telling others mm -hmm. and others started telling others and, and to go be the glory God yeah. and be sustaining us. We are yeah. coming together every fourth Saturday of the month. For five years now. For five years, nothing mm -hmm. else but to worship God in truth and in spirit. Yeah. Trying to break the genes of denominations. Mm -hmm. You know, we, 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 we focus on the major. Yeah. Living the minors that separate us. You yes. Know. You believe in God, mm -hmm. Jesus the way, mm -hmm. the truth and the life. Yeah. Come on, let's worship God. Forget about yeah. all the minors that are separating us. So and I've, I mean, I've been there. I've been there in those meetings and it's just amazing. I come, there's just this anointing that is there. Seeing yes. men gathered of different denominations, different ethnic groups, diverse, 
Every, no title, everybody just there worshiping the Lord and sharing. And of course, the food is always amazing. <laughs> the food is one of those things that attracts me a lot, you know, because we eat real good food there. We feed spiritually and we feed physically. Yeah, we feed physically, yeah. <laughs> but you know, I wanted to talk about that, you know, when you talk about the fact that it's not that women are excluded, yes. but men, you know. I, I just felt like it's good to talk about the role of men, yes. you know. When God created, you know, humans, he gave man a very peculiar role, yes. you know, he gave woman a peculiar role too, but man's role is to be the foundation yes. of the home, the foundation of his creation. We have a responsibility of leadership, yes. and it's so, so sad that now women are doing, a lot of women are doing their part, but yes. you go to the churches, no men there, exactly. you know, you see a lot of families with no men present, especially in our African American, exactly. you know, community. So, it's just, just amazing that a ministry like yours that reaches out to not just preachers because it's not just preachers that are there men yes. leaders of household that can come together share you know thing you know their their you know hearts their weaknesses their struggles and pray for one another i think this is just an amazing thing that you know god is using you to do and i just pray that you know this uh, ministry that he has given you will continue to impact lives and just continue to extend you know further um, well, we, we're still going to have some time with um, Fred Ezeji Okoyi, where we'll continue to hear his story and just a lot, a lot more about um, the, the Men of Faith Network. But uh, right now, we'll sign off until we see again uh, Light Everywhere podcast.